guys, this is it. This is the last video of the ROV series. We're going to do some water testing, but first, we need to finish up the ROV. So we actually built our own battery board, so we 3D printed it, and then we actually inserted metal clips into it. And then the main board that slides in and out of the ROV is also 3D printed. And then that holds all the electronics on the board. So we have the main Arduino, the three motor controllers, and then the Ethernet to USB hub. And then we have the relays and battery board mounted on the bottom. So you can see that the wires clip into the front and we're soldering them on. And then we're actually taking apart the keel and capping it up with hot glue so no toxic materials get into the water. <laughs> So this is the board fully assembled, we can see all the components wired up, and then we actually had an opportunity here to take the ROV out to Washington, guys. Like, here in Colorado, there's not much water out here, so we decided to pack it up and go to Washington. See you out there. Hope you guys enjoyed that footage, but I wanted to talk about why we're not going to be continuing working on this ROV. So it looks really cool, like we love the design of it, but it didn't turn out as robust as we wanted to. The motors kept on shearing off, like to and from Seattle, like it's not broken now, <laughs> trust me, just take my word for it. But also the bolts got, through the, got pulled through the 3D printed part in the front, like the layer adhesion, it just got ripped through. So it's not robust enough to be underwater. But we do want to make a Gen 2 ROV. So if you want to see that, make sure to like and subscribe. As always, guys, see you next time.